guys, so welcome back to the voiceover for this catch and cook for the honey glaze snapper. So the first thing I like to do is I like to put some of the Everglades fish and chicken. What I kind of like to do is I like to put a lot of it. I pretty much put maybe 80 to 90% of the Everglades fish and chicken. I like to give it like a nice coat just to kind of cover it up um, a lot. Then what I also like to do is I also like to put some of the Everglades all-purpose seasoning. I put a little bit of it. I don't put a lot of it but I do put enough just to pretty much be able to have it there. So I put it on both sides, as you can see here, I put a lot of the fish and chicken. That is by far my best seasoning and the one that I actually recommend for this. You also wanna make sure that you have a nice thick layer of it. You can never go too bad with too much seasoning, to be honest with you, especially with Everglades, honestly, one of the best seasonings I've used. And as you can see here, I mean, the fillets are nice and glazed over with that. And the main thing and the kicker it, to give it a little bit of spice is I like to put um, some organic crushed red pepper flakes. I put on both sides. I like to dice it up depending on whether I want it to be very spicy or just mildly spicy. The more you put, obviously, the spicier it is going to get. So if you don't like spicy food, then put a little bit less. If you really like spicy food like I do, put a lot of it. It really gives it a nice little tang to it. It makes it just have a little spice towards the end, so I would highly, highly recommend it for this recipe. How I like to make my snapper is in the air fryer. It's something that I've recently started doing, and I can tell you that it keeps that nice, wet moisture on it. You can't really beat on it. You can't compare the taste that it gives it. So in order for it to not get stuck, what I like to do is I like to dose it off with some olive oil just to make sure it doesn't stick. I typically use the spray, I didn't have the spray at that moment, so just put some olive oil on top just to make sure that it doesn't get stuck to the pan or to the actual air fryer when you go ahead and glaze it over and put it over to air fry. Once you put the olive oil on the fillets, what I like to do is I like to place them each individually. Um, and the temperature that I like to do and what I highly recommend is I like to slow cook them just because the slower you cook them, the tastier they're going to be and the nice and moist they're gonna be. If you cook them too fast, then they're gonna get really dry and flaky and it's not gonna be, you know, the type of fish that you guys, I'm sure, would wanna eat where it's nice, it's moist, it's you can see the flavors there and it's not very dry. So what I like to do is I typically like to have it at 300 degrees for 10 minutes. And that's the good thing about the air fryer, the fact that you could just set it there and forget it and know the fact that it's not gonna overheat the fish, it's not gonna overcook the fish, it's not gonna dry it out. It's already set where 300 degrees will definitely make the fish perfect. Now, while the fish is cooking, what I like to do to kind of conserve time and save time is I like to make a honey glazed garlic sauce, which I make it with pretty much just raw organic honey and raw already the garlics that are already cut up and diced up. I like to mix them both. It is the kicker in the actual recipe itself. I would say that the recipe would not be as delicious as it is without that honey glaze sauce over it. So what I like to do is, I mean, I don't have any measurements. I don't really measure it out. I just kind of put a lot of honey. I get one scoop of the garlic, as you can see here, put it in a cup, a mug, whatever it is that you guys want to go ahead and use. I kind of stir it a little bit, put it in the microwave 10, 15 seconds, and just let it sit there while the fish cooks. I also like to kind of start preparing the other ingredients that I'm going to use. So what I typically do with this recipe is I do some sort of rice bowl or, you know, a honey glaze rice. I put rice as a side dish, add some organic carrots. I also add some organic spinach and some also tomatoes in there to make it sort of a salad. Meanwhile, there's still fish, there's still some protein in there, and it kind of blends and is able to have kind of all the food groups there in one. So as you can see here, I'm dicing up the tomatoes, getting the rice, putting the rice in the bowls, preparing the actual plates already with the organic rice, with the with the rice, the actual spinach, and some carrots. So I pretty much have it all laid out there, just ready and waiting for the fish to get done.
Ooh, 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 ooh. 